and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chloe and I sell things on eBay to earn a living. Today's video is just going to be a quick sales roundup. It's going to be in a different format to how it usually is. Usually I would do like a screen share, so I would share my computer screen with you guys. However, as of late I have changed the settings on my computer to meet my... Uh, vision needs with how I've like lost quite a bit of vision and you guys would probably struggle to um, see it I guess <laughs> because I've had to change all the contrast and it's probably not very easy for other people to see so instead of having to mess around with that and struggle with all the settings and switching them back and forth I am just going to post screenshots from my phone whilst I talk about the items. If you prefer that kind of format or would like it the old way again, do let me know because I can screen share. I will just have to switch the settings back and forth and it might just take a little bit longer, but I could still do it. I would just thought I'd give this one a go as well. So I'm gonna jump straight into it. I am gonna be looking down at my computer screen a little bit just to uh, remind me of what item I'm talking about and then when I'm editing I will put a picture up here where this lovely Christmas tree is seeing as we're in December I thought I'd make it slightly festive and filmed by the tree that I had help from my four-year-old little boy to decorate he had a lot of fun with that so first item is this Ralph Lauren that's how I say it I know some people say Ralph Lauren I say Ralph Lauren let me know in the comments how you say it it is a cable knit jumper and this sold really really quickly actually it was in either my last haul video or the one before it's a grey v-neck sweater and it sold for i believe 24.99 but the price will be on the screenshot anyway and it cost me £3.99 and it sold in around about a week i can't remember exactly because i do schedule a lot of my stuff so i don't know the exact day that they go live because I may list it on a Wednesday, but it doesn't go live until the Saturday, if that makes sense. So, and then it might sell on the Monday. So, I don't know. I, I don't always know exactly when it's gone live. Okay, the next item is this Peruna jumper. Honestly, don't really know what was on the front of this jumper. I put that it was like a house. Uh, what's your opinion? Do you think it's a house? is it a Christmas jumper I think I listed it yeah you can see that I put Christmas in the title I've had this for a long time I spent two pounds on this and it is sold for 13 pounds eventually I've had it for a while though I think I picked it up last Christmas so it's taken a long time to sell next up is this Anna Sui I don't know if I pronounced that right Anna Sue Anna Sui not got a clue it's a Angora, I'm not sure if it was 100% Angora, but it's like an embellished jumper dress. I thought this was beautiful when I bought it. I bought it for £4, no, £4.50, sorry. And I've had it for so long, nobody wanted it. It was really super soft with it being Angora. Um, I sent out an offer, I think it was listed for £40. I sent out an offer for £30 and they accepted and paid straight away. But I think I've had it for like over a year. It did just nobody bit but then i did have it listed for 40 pounds i really i haven't adjusted my prices lately and i sh really should have done okay this next item i listed and it sold within maybe two or three days maximum it may have sold like the day after it's this vintage french connection like fair isle nordic sweater vest i guess waistcoat kind of thing uh, it was labelled as a size large, but probably measured more around a 10. The mannequin that it's on is like a small 10, um, and that sold for $24.99. This Marks and Spencer's wrap, I am guessing that somebody might be taking this on holiday with them. I like to think so anyway, because it's really lightweight. It is called the lightweight wrap, that's what it's says on the label um i had it for a little while uh, it's brand new with tags and i paid two pounds for this uh, like i say i had it a little while but it did sell for 20 pounds so hopefully they enjoy that i'm guessing it's going on holiday it's either that or it's going to be a christmas gift for somebody i would have thought these robel trousers were in my last haul video so they've sold relatively quickly probably within a week 
but again i'm not sure exactly when they were listed and they sold for 17 pounds and they cost me three pounds so i'm happy with that especially with how quickly they've sold these lush shower gels i bought in a lush sale i can't remember when exactly i think it would have been um after christmas at some point last year i bought them on an online sale and i spent two pound fifty per bottle so five pound in total and they have sold for oh i sold quite a few now at different prices so i'm not sure i think 14.99 does that say on there maybe 15.99 they've sold at different prices but you'll see on the screen how much they've sold for and they were they cost me five pounds oh this is really nice this um brown amber glass owl like amber color glass owl sold for 24.99 again the price will be on there if i like forgive me if i get it wrong um i paid three pounds for this it was really heavy absolutely beautiful took a little while to sell because i think i had it priced quite high really but it was really nice and i think it's gone abroad but i was really happy that that went for such a good price this lk bennett sure i've had this for ages this was just a, a bread and butter sale at 12 pound 50 i paid 2 pound 50 for it but i had it quite a while so i probably shouldn't i wouldn't bother picking something like that up again this is a hackett polo t-shirt um in a really nice blue color i'm guessing this is probably going to be a christmas present for somebody because uh, it was brand new with tags in a size 2xl it cost me five pounds and it sold for well, the price will be on the screen because it was a 10% off coupon. It was listed for 29 99 but they used a 10% off coupon, so around about £26 something, but the price will be on the screenshot. This Kettlewell cardigan I've had for ages. This was when, way back when, when everybody was buying Kettlewell to sell it, and I bought it on Vinted. I think it was £5 in a bundle, and I've just had no interest from it whatsoever so somebody offered me 15 pounds and i accepted that straight away because i was happy to see the back of it well this set of three ducks i probably should have waited a little bit and sold them a little bit more like got a little bit more a little bit more money for them either that or i shouldn't have spent so much money on them but they were really cute um i spent four pound fifty on them and as you can see i only got 12 pounds for them um but i was happy for them to go to somebody that's going to enjoy them next up is a pair of levi's like women's levi's these are the 724s and they went for 30 pounds and they cost me again around about five pounds ish um i don't know exactly because they were a wholesale item and they sold really quickly as well those did they were probably around about a week maybe two weeks at a push but i didn't have them for very long this pair of Not Your Daughter's jeans, I think, were not in the last... I don't think they were in the last haul video, but maybe the one before that. I was really, like, this close to keeping them. Um, I'm glad I didn't, though, because they sold really, really quickly, within, like, a week, I think. And they went for, I think, £18.99. Oh, no, they didn't. There was a 10% off coupon, it says here. I paid £2.50 for them, so £18.99 with the 10% off is, like, what... Uh about 17 pounds maybe it'll say on the screenshot anyway but yeah they went really quickly so i was happy with that and they only cost me two pound fifty this reese duck egg blue dress was a vintage like from a vintage bundle i think it cost me around about four pounds ish i don't know the exact cost of it i've put four pounds in my uh custom skew but it is it's a guess um and it sold for 16 pounds it didn't take that long to sell either really i mean a reese doesn't really sell that quickly for me so i was happy enough i think it probably took about a month to sell and i was happy enough with that this vintage jumper was from the bulk vintage lot that i bought gosh it must be like close to a year ago now um and it went for 20 pounds so i was happy with that it was quite a nice jumper to be fair and i think they cost me around about five pounds each maybe six pounds each I haven't actually worked out how many I got that was saleable. I know that's really bad, but I've had, like, with the busy, difficult year that I've had, I've not actually sat down to work it out, and I really should have done. Maybe I'll make that a job for next week. Next up is this silver... Uh, it's like a metal and wicker, like, wire 
tray. Um, it's like a Christmas tree. I've had it for a long time. I reckon I must have had this close to two years. I only paid a pound for it. And my photos, as you can see, are awful. I don't know why I decided to take them like a picture of a silver item on my beige carpet. Um, I, I've got no idea. Uh, paid a pound, went for ten pounds. I was happy to see the back of it. I'm, I'm just happy. I'm happy that it's gone. I've had this Joanna Hope zip up jacket for quite a while, probably well, well over a year. I used to pick up Joanna Hope all the time. Now I don't unless it's really nice um because it just doesn't th it doesn't sell as quick as it used to i mean this was a size 16 this red jacket i wouldn't pick something like this up again joanna hope I tend to stick to like dresses pretty dresses now with like patterns on and stuff this isn't something that i pick up again from joanna hope but it cost me four pounds and it eventually went for uh, it says 16.99 here, but it also says that that's 10% off coupon, so probably around 15 pounds. This Lacruze teapot, this went for just over 20 pound, I think, because they used the coupon, and this only cost me 2 pound 49, and it was gorgeous. I walked into the charity shop and I saw it on the shelf, and I knew straight away that it was Lacruze because of the colour of it, and yeah, it sold really quickly. I was really happy with that. This cute little candle holder, like this little brass candle holder, this was really little, it was really cute. This only cost me a pound and it sold for £10, I believe. Yeah, £10. And that was just a really, I mean, it didn't take very long to sell either. It didn't stick around for very long and it was a really easy sale. This mint velvet skirt sold for £15. Usually I'd probably try and sell mint velvet for a bit, lo a bit longer. Sorry, a bit more expensive than that. But this has been sticking around for a while. Uh, I don't think the photo was very good, to be fair. Again, I've taken it on my beige carpet. And I'd usually either hang up a skirt or take it on a mannequin. Which, there's nothing wrong with taking a flat lay photo of a skirt at all. Um, as you can see, I've done it with a few of them before. But I just don't know whether it was great on this carpet, especially for that colour. Uh, it might just be that it was the skirt itself that nobody wanted. But it sold for £15 anyway. This pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses I was really close to keeping myself because I really, really liked them. The only thing I didn't like about them is they hooked over the ear, like, all the way round. Um, they had, like, weird flexible hooks. They didn't just sit on top. And I didn't like that. They were a bit uncomfortable. Um, they probably cost me around about five or six pounds. Again, they were wholesale. And they sold... They were listed for 69 Then... It was 10% off because I've got a coupon on my shop at the minute for 10% off. Uh, so about £63. And I was happy with that. And I got good feedback. So the customer was also happy with them. This Topshop dress. I absolutely loved this dress. And I was gutted when I got it home and realised that there was like a bleach mark down the front of it. Um, so I, I, I didn't get as much as what I could have done for it. I think I probably could have pushed for about £25 on this because it was gorgeous. I only got £12 for it. Uh, I think, yeah, it cost me £3, and I've had it for ages, but like I say, it was damaged, so I'm not surprised it took so long to sell. This dress was also from a ball vintage lot. I'm guessing someone's going to wear it for a Christmas party or maybe a cruise, I'm not sure, but it is beautiful. It is full of sequins, like head to toe full of sequins. It's really heavy. It's a really nice dress. It took so long to photograph it and try and do it justice. But they are really happy with it. I think it's of £35 in the end. Um, and it cost me around about £5, I think it worked out to be. So I was really happy with that. And I think I got good feedback as well. They're really happy with it. This super dry t-shirt, again, was new with tags. So possibly a Christmas present, I'm not sure. Uh, size XL, and that went for £21. This Joseph Ripkoff was... I'm not sure if I included this in a recent haul video or not. But I paid £5, I think, for this one. And it sold with a 10% off coupon again. So it was listed for £29.99. Sold really quickly. It took about a week, which Joseph Ripkoff for me usually hangs around for a while. Because you have to try and find the right buyer. It's not, it doesn't go as for as much money or for as quick as it used to. But this was like really, it had that like typical Joseph Ripkoff style to it. So I picked it up. 
I listed it for 29.99 and it went with the 10% off coupon so it went for like about 27 pounds this Bowden dress I probably wouldn't pick up again I don't pick up as much Bowden anymore and it just doesn't sell as well as it used to for me and it doesn't fetch as much money anymore as what it used to I paid five pounds for this which I definitely wouldn't pay five pounds for this anymore I've had it stuck in my shop for probably at least a year I mean I had it listed for 19 99 which I wouldn't be able to list a Bowden dress like this for that much anymore let me know in the comments down below if you still find Bowden items like this to sell this well anymore maybe it's just me maybe I need to not have that outlook on it maybe it's just been a few that haven't sold that well for me and I need to not tarnish them all with the same brush I don't know maybe I need to give it another go maybe I'm being a little bit negative um but yeah it sold with a 10% off coupon so about 18 17 pounds it will say on the screenshot anyway next up is this Frith Sculptures um ornament like this pair of cats I have showed this in a haul video I paid £3.50 I believe no £3.25 for this and it sold for says 26 99 but again 10 percent off discount so the price will be in the screenshot around about i don't know i can't work it out not off the top of my head the price will be in the screenshot for how much it sold for and it didn't hang around either it went really quickly next up is this Lockaren of scotland i don't know if i'm saying that right if i am not saying that right please forgive me it is a silk and cashmere jumper I paid £5 for this, I believe. Yes, £5 for this. And it sold for £26.99, but again with the 10% off discount. So um, around about £24, maybe. Again, it'll be in the screenshot how much it sold for. And it did hang around for quite a while, though. That one I've had listed for quite some time. But it did sell, nonetheless. And last but definitely not least is this pair of Tommy Hilfiger sunglasses that sold for £45 and that was without any discount as well so it sold for the full £45 and they were gorgeous. I nearly kept them for myself but they were just a little bit too big for my face. I'm after some really nice sunglasses, like some really dark sunglasses, like especially for night time because in the car at night time the lights, like headlights from other cars the glare really really hurts my eyes so i'm after some really dark sunglasses for night time that's completely off topic they were they sold for 45 pounds they probably cost me about five pounds and i had them listed for maybe about a month possibly six weeks so they didn't take too long to sell so yeah that is it that is just a random selection of things that have sold for me lately probably over the past two weeks or so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up either one is fine um it really helped my little channel and yeah if you've not already subscribed do consider hitting that subscribe button whichever side it is i think it's this side and yeah i will see you in my next video bye everybody